Right, hi guys. I'm just back with a quick video. Um, I'm just going to show the people who was asking how to change the font on your Kodi setup. Now, as you can see here, I've got a different font as to what's the skin standard. I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to do that. Now, first thing I'd recommend is that you download a program called Notepad++. It's a free program for Windows. There is a Mac alternative and I'll leave the link down below for which program I use on Mac as well to do the same job. And basically it's just going to make um, the next step a little bit easier when we get to it. So this is the web page here. I'll leave a link down below on how to get it and you just hit the download there and install. Now once you've done that you want to find your Kodi folder on your computer. Now I'm using Windows 8.1 so I'm going to go to my run command and all you want to search is percentage app data percentage backslash Kodi backslash and then you just want to hit OK and it will bring you to this folder here. Now I'll leave on, on screen the different locations as to where it'll be for Mac, Android, OpenELEC, everything like that and basically just do the same as I've just done there. Now the next step is you want to choose a font that you like I'm just going to pick a random one. There's plenty of font websites. You just want to go on Google and type in free fonts. I'm using 1001freefonts.com. Um, I have found that some fonts with a lot of detail or some strange um, icons or anything like that don't work. They don't change. For instance, this one here, this wouldn't work. I'm just going to pick something random that looks different as to what I've already got preloaded on there. I'll just go for this bold font here. And all I'm going to do is hit the download there. And it will download a zip file. Now you do need a decompression software of some sort. I'm using 7-zip. You can also use Win32. They're both free. Once you've got that zip file downloaded, you just want to open it and you will find here a TTF file. Now, this one for instance has a regular and an italic. I'm just going to pick the regular and I'm going to drag and drop it to my desktop. Then I can close this here. I can also minimise that web page. And... All you want to do is go to the add-ons section here, navigate through all these add-ons and depending on what skin you're using, you want to find it in the list. For instance, I'm using Aeon Knox Silvo Mod and there is my skin there. So I'm going to open that folder which will bring me this and as you can see there is a fonts folder. If the skin you're using for some reason doesn't have a fonts folder, that's fine. Just create one, new folder, and rename it fonts. All you want to do is go to this fonts folder here, and you want to drag or copy and paste this font which you downloaded and saved to your desktop into here. I've already got a few in there because I've been trying different ones, and as you can see, it has copied into there you just want to double check it's a TTF file and that's it now the next step I'm going to go up here to the 1080i folder this could be different depending on the skin again I know some do use 720p it's all different you know you've got the right file because it will have a lot of these XML files in it that's how you know you're in the right place. Now this next step here is where the Notepad++ will come in handy, especially for the people who've never done this before. These are all arranged 
in alphabetical order. You want to go to the F's until you find font. First thing I'm going to tell you to do is please make a backup of your font guys. Just in case you make any mistakes. You don't have to re-download Kodi again and start afresh. That would just be a pain. So you just want to copy and paste your font folder onto your desktop so you've got a, a backup of it always. Very important that you do that. The next thing you want to do is you just want to open the font with Notepad++ and you will be presented with this gibberish here. Could be a little bit daunting to anyone who's not seen this before. Don't worry, it's really simple. This is where the guide from Michael comes in really handy. I will leave a link down below to the website where I found this guide. It's full of everything coder. It's really helpful, especially to beginners. Or it's especially helpful for when you can't remember where certain add-ons are and stuff like that. I know that happens to me a lot because they just change that quickly. Everything's on that site. I recommend that you check it out, save it to your favourites. It's a very good website now. He's been ever so kind as to include a full guide on how to do this. Anyone who don't want to watch the video, find me boring, go on the web page and everything's on here. He's included a Google document for, for instance here, it tells you on which line everything's edited on. So line 22 will edit this and this, line 26 will edit this etc etc I'm just going to quickly edit the text on the main menu which you will find on the bottom here line 233 now this is where notepad++ notepad++ is very handy because along the left side here it gives you the, the numbers for the lines you wouldn't get that in basic notepad so we're just going to go down 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 to 233 which is here now as you can see 233 that ain't the right one to edit I found that it's just a couple of lines rather up or down from the line that's listed on here it might be the same for you if it's not just use a little bit of common sense and move a couple of spaces up or down and you'll find here this is what you need to be editing the file name just double check that it matches here for instance font You'd know you're in the right bit because it'll say name, font, main menu and you'll find that there and this line here is what you want to be editing. So all you want to do is highlight the text that comes before the dot, you want to cut that and then you want to go back over to your desktop to the font that it was that you put into the font folder. You want to click on it so this is highlighted and you can edit it. You want to right, right click, copy, and you're just going to paste that where that font that you've just deleted was. Now as you can see, the same name, the same name. If you copy and paste it, nothing can be done wrong. You can't type anything wrong. And all you want to do then is hit save. You can close this. You can close this. And now... You want to open your coder and as you can see my font on the front has changed. It was different to that. You can change the size. I'll just quickly show you where you change the size. We'll close this. I'll just go back in here quickly. That is the, the font size on that is set to 95. That was a little bit too big. So I'm just going to set that to 70. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to reopen Coder. And as you can see, it's now the right size to fit in there. That about covers everything. Um, if, this, if you found this helpful and you think it will find will help someone else with this then please feel free to share it any comments below are welcome and that's about it guys thanks